Hey, I'm Dave Asprey, and I live in the Pacific Northwest. It means that we've got a lot of smoke in the air here, and there's some things that you need to know about smoke and what to do about it biologically. Right now, the air quality is about 20 times higher than the maximum approved safe level, and smoke makes very, very fine particulate matter that makes its way into your cells, actually, and into your lungs, and it can cause long-term mitochondrial harm. You do recover from it, but it takes a while, and if you're exposed, even for a brief period of, say, going for a, a run or going outside and exercising or gardening or something like that, it can have a very negative effect on you more than you'd think. So here's what to do if you get exposed and to minimize damage. Number one, you can actually get these little charcoal masks on Amazon, and if you're gonna be outside for a while, it actually makes a difference. I wore this when I was flying in a small plane through a whole bunch of smoke recently, and I didn't feel bad when I landed because I just didn't get it in my body in the first place. But if you don't wanna look like a ninja, that's okay. After you're exposed, what you can do is you can go in and you can do something called the Bulletproof Sinus Rinse. It turns out that washing these fine particles out of the cilia in your nose prevents them from getting absorbed into your body, at least somewhat, which is useful. You can also take things that help your body get rid of toxins. One of the easiest ones is bulletproof activated charcoal. And you take this to bind to toxins in your body so that you can more easily excrete them. But the things that really make a big difference quickly are bulletproof glutathione. And glutathione's a primary detox molecule in your body, so you're gonna up your levels of glutathione whenever you're exposed to toxins, including smoke. You can take calcium D-glucurate, another substance that supports your liver's detox pathways. And you can also try Keto Prime, which is a mitochondrial upregulator. And when you do all these things right after exposure, you're minimizing the amount you absorb and you're helping your body get rid of it more quickly. And when you do that, you actually can feel better faster and just take less of a hit. But bottom line, if you're breathing this stuff, you're taking a hit. Stay indoors if you can and use an air filter when you're indoors, especially when you're sleeping. And you should be able to handle these fires really quickly. These hacks work even if you're not exposed just to big forest fire smoke. They work if you're in a really smoggy, smoky environment full of toxins. I actually carry this mask with me on airplanes because of something called a fume event where you get a huge amount of airplane exhaust in. So anytime you're gonna be breathing lots of stuff you don't wanna breathe, you might wanna capture it and then do what you can to help your body excrete it more quickly because the odds are you're going to live longer, but more importantly, you're gonna feel better now.